Welcome back everyone to Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon everybody. So we are going to be going into the Water Temple to continue on the story. I did some things, increased my level a little bit more. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, so I'm level 37 now. My partner I'm bringing with me is Phoenix. So we're going to be taking Phoenix to the Water Temple. I just realized that Phoenix is probably the most broken buddy you can have in this game because it has an ability that fully restores your HP and gives you auto life which costs four points to use but you regenerate crystal points so fast in this game that it's like not even a bad thing to use you just use it once a floor and you're good overpowered so we're going to take phoenix into the water temple despite phoenix being weak i kind of want to use some other characters for right now so phoenix should be fine but going back to the house take a guess of who joined us today look at that it's Sid from the chocobos dungeon on the PlayStation 1 so it looks like this house is spawning the characters from that game which means we might see the chocobo from that game since they're all different characters but yeah a very interesting thing that's completely new and wasn't in the Wii version so I'm looking forward to doing that and we'll do it slowly yeah, might as well do it slowly. I'm not going to wait till the end of the game because I, I really want to see how that plays out. But going back to the Water Temple, we did max out the job class for the Freelancer. So that's level 8 now, and we're going with the White Mage now. So we have Phoenix. We are White Mage. And we're going to play through this dungeon 30 floors we should have two checkpoints so next time we come back we should be able to go to floor 20 assuming we make it there oh i'm attacking the wrong thing. dropping job points so that's interesting but we have some of these flowers we're going to use them get some job points that'll level us up these flowers are pretty nice so let's see what new ability did that give us uh, I suppose I gotta set it nope ability Protect and shell. So cure. Yeah, I guess it don't matter. We'll just hard cast those if we need to. Oh, the experience is nice. That's for sure. So this would be a nice dungeon to grind up on. So we are severely over leveled, but I don't want to miss anything if we can avoid it. Because there's going to be better equipment for us to use. There should be anyway. But it looks like this is it for the first floor. We could probably even skip the first couple of floors, since it's really the later floors of the dungeon where you get the best experience and better equipment. has resistance to ice so that's nice just not water so when we fight leviathan that could be a problem pretty sure leviathan's the boss
it's almost like I need to run some equipment to have more accuracy or something. Phoenix just power through that. Oh, can't wait to get better equipment. I am not doing enough damage. I mean, it's a lot as far as the game goes, but I would much rather be doing about 200 damage a hit. A den of monsters. How many we got? That looks like one, two, three, four, five. Did I just put myself to sleep or something? No. And I can't move, awesome. But it shouldn't be too bad. We just have to watch out for traps. Because if we step on any traps, we'll start destroying items on the floor. And we really don't want that. I can't move and I can't hit anything. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. We knew that we were going to start running into monster houses, so. But this one here is not too bad. Get our movement back. It's so hard to move diagonally in this game. So I'm gonna have to go back around and it teleports me out. Geez, the other side of the map. The thing that sucks about monster houses is they're full of traps, but there's also full of items. Like, I really wish they would change that, because it just makes it really annoying to have to navigate when just about every trap you step on is, or every space you step on is a trap. There's another one. No, 
Let's just go ahead and do it. Sea Serpent skill. I mean, as long as I don't step on an explosion trap, I should be fine. And we can get all of those. So that was annoying. Alright, I wanted to check out the uh, new ability that we got. What do we get? Silence. This one here is light base damage on a full of three spaces. Warps to another location on the floor. Uh, we could probably set that, right? So let's go. Where do we want that at? So Y is set to item. Let's set that to X. And this to A. Because we are going to want. We're gonna, we're gonna want some damage. So it's nice that we have damage now. A lot of experience points being given out here. Not a lot of damage, but it's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. I typically just only run this class anyway, so I can heal. But having Phoenix means I will never have to worry about health. Because as you see, I get back all of my health. And I get auto life. Oh, jeez, I did a lot of damage. So that's nice to know that that's there. So I'm going to see if there's anything else on this floor. And then we're just going to take that. If we get a boss to get some more experience. It gets us more job points, which is what we want. And we have Phoenix completely full. So we should at least have one opportunity to stay alive. This is only floor three. These dungeons are getting bigger. Okay, there's one there too. I guess we'll just take this one since we're here. It's a shop. Water talons, cursed goat saddle, no SP saddle. Don't want another one of those. All the collars are cursed. Okay, so water damage. We'll hold on to it. We don't have a lot of damage in crystal points, so that might be useful. We don't actually have potions, so these may be high potions. We'll hold on to them. I really just don't want to sell the collars right now. It's simply because they're worth money if we still happen to have them. It'd be nice. Okay, iron talons. So we can get plus 14 on those. Plus 11. Phoenix down for 600, but we have a Phoenix, so we don't need that. Okay, guess while I'm here, let's drink this. Uh, eat these. We'll just go on to the next floor. No harm in just casting this now just to have it. Oh, that thing down there is glowing. Like 
Like, this game really does look really good. I just wish it had a lot of the elements that the um, PlayStation games had. Especially since they're bringing characters over from this, the game. It would be nice if there was some of that stuff here. Jeez, Phoenix is so bright. It just covers up so much of the screen. And I can't see the brightly colored objects as it's going space further all right now we will step on that trap well, gets us closer to it and phoenix teleports to us it's another shot I think we picked anything else up. Oh. All right, so what do we got here? Floor is over there. So there's all the enemies on the map too, that's nice. Water talons. Well, I mean, it'd be nice to just have better equipment. So I'm looking forward to using these I had some really good equipment it was one that said I couldn't have any or enemies that I defeated couldn't drop items or anything really and I used that for a little bit but I, I noticed that enemies weren't dropping like job points or buddy points and I looked at it and it was just enemies that you defeat don't drop anything so I quickly got rid of those okay three hits It's just hard to pass up this experience right now. But I'm not seeing anything else that's absolutely needed on this floor. Okay, Phoenix, you're stuck. Let's go on to the next floor. That's going to be so overpowered. Like now, there's no reason to not just take Phoenix with you wherever you go. I don't think he dropped anything. But look at how fast Phoenix's crystal points are going back up. It's already almost full. Water bombs? Okay, that makes sense, I suppose.
Didn't blow up. That's good. Uh, I'm sure. A dual trap. Oh, I should have recovered all of my HP first. Oh well. You'll see how bad it is. It is some kind of shade. I wonder if he takes more damage from Holy. 33. He did not. Alright. I love the attack name, Rust in Pieces. That's so good. Hunger Strike. So as you can see, I can't gain SP just through walking because I have the no SP saddle. So basically what the game does is every piece of equipment comes with a ability, or not every piece of equipment, but let's say in a saddle had gold on it, right? So you can either take off the gold brand so you don't transfer that brand to another piece of equipment, but that gold saddle's static ability is the fact that it's a gold saddle so it will always be there so what I thought was going to happen was if I took off the no SP on my no SP saddle then I could still use it for stats and still get my SP but the static ability of it says I just can't gain any SP from from walking around so that sucks but if I want to fuse that item and don't want to transfer over the no SP I can take that brand off so it's essentially branded twice oh that's annoying but that's all right though iron saddle that's nice to have all right Phoenix hook me up walked right into it. When I saw the four items on the floor, I, I instantly knew. So how many items or enemies we have? One, two, three, four, five. Um, is there any way I can get out of this quickly? Uh, how big did say the radius was? Let's just bring everything one step closer. All right. Now let's nuke him. Poison talons. All right, this should be every enemy. So I want to step on spaces that already have something on them. So that way you don't trigger as many traps. And they also put. Oh, it's poison. Memory collar. I suppose you should start finding out what these are. Poison drink. Just drank poison. Just, mm. Sparkling drink. Jeez. Just got a bunch of drugs on me. Poisoned again, because why not? Alright, this is just blind. I'm affected by that. Plenty of warp wings, and let's get off this floor. So these are pretty fun so far. It's not like the um, the monster houses in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, where the very first step you take into the floor is a sleep trap, and then you get wrecked from there. I need a store. Antidote. Let's probably start figuring out what these are, I guess. 
Okay, high potion. This is ether. Haste drink. Awesome. New skill. What do we got? Kira. Yes. Look at that, another one. All right. to have that haste. Yeah, we don't have haste, do we? Ability. Slow. No, we don't have haste, so that should be a next level skill. Alright, well, we'll just do it the right way, I suppose. Let's get Phoenix in here. Okay, well, Phoenix is about to be useless. Poison me. That's fine. Oh, right. When do you get Isuna? When is that? Okay. No time soon. So as far as items go, we know what all of our potions are. What brings War Book, Thunder Book. Guess we'll eat the poison food again. Too bad Phoenix doesn't restore its own health like it does when you fight it. Okay, so I learned something about that fight with Phoenix. Um, I think Phoenix actually does have around 500 health. But it's the fact that when Phoenix hits you with the Flames of Rebirth, it also gets back like 285 health. So it made it feel like it had way more because I had to essentially do all that damage again. But that's still pretty impressive for, you know, essentially the first story boss.
not gonna lie, this this dungeon is pre this better not be another one. Okay. That's fine. Water talons, I don't know if I need that. Squishy drink. We'll let Phoenix try it. Some SP. I don't think I need water talons. I just need to find a shop so I can sell some stuff. And it sucks because it could be one of three shops. It could be a shop where you sell things, or a blacksmith where you can't sell things, or it could be. Oh, it's seriously on the other side of the map. Alright. Or it could just be a boss in which. floor okay well those are job points that I'm not getting geez all the food they're dropping is poisonous And the damage they're doing is adding up. been the theme of this entire dungeon so far. Poison everything. Make sure we can't blow up. So if I ever find some talons that have silent strike, I will actually Okay, pass the checkpoint. Alright, cool. No, we're not doing that. Scholar's a fun class. Okay. So we can come back here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave so we can sell off some of this stuff, maybe put on some better equipment, then come back. But it's nice that we don't have to just play through the entire dungeon. We'll go remove these curses real quick. So we got to go to church, sell some things, get some better equipment. But I think that's just my main gripe with this particular series of Chocobo's Dungeon is that it feels like they dumbed down the entire series, like they removed mechanics that helped you not have to do this and just kind of leaving you where you are essentially. It would be nice to be able to 
craft equipment while I'm in a dungeon and not have to leave the dungeon to come back. Because it really feels like it ruins the pace of the game. Because in a Chocobo's dungeon on the PlayStation, you could just walk to a pot on a floor and throw things in, increase your equipment, which also removes items from your inventory, which means you can stay in longer and do more hey, things. Chocobo. So let's see. All right, we're gonna sell some things first. Howdy, this is Harry's Hardware. Iron Talons, max 14. Get rid of that. Poison Talons, that has four brands. Curse, no confuse saddle. Oh, a collar that inflicts blindness. I'll keep one of them. Now, nah, care to do it right now. Collar that prevents HP recovery. Jeez, so many good choices. might upgrade to the poison talons I'm not sure yet so first the saddle max of 14 it's plus 8 so we're gonna have to grab some things at storage it looks like Jeez. Going through the menus way too quickly. So we want no SP saddles, 28. And that's going to go up to what? 24. feel like I need to do this for right now just so I can get rid of the no SP I mean it's only what four less defense so we're 20 that goes Puts me to 24. Okay. Poison talons. 16. Fuse it right. I did not fuse it right. So we have to do Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm trying to add Okay, so it's not carrying over the brands it looks like. So we've got one more hone we can put on that one, and we've still got a lot more we can put on that one. Alright. So we will equip Iron Talons. The Iron Saddle, we've got a 
get some equipment to put on it. I don't actually want to just spend the money to put the hones on when I have equipment for that very purpose. Hello, Choco. So we need saddles. We'll just take all these, bring back whatever we don't take. So that's going to be our equipment set for now. storage just like that so it's not taking up more item space eventually I'm going to get in there and consolidate some things just so when I eventually get to build my ultimate armor set I can just take like two or three things out and max it Hello. actually I think that's it all right, so we've got eight items, and we can go in and get it looking good. While we're here, we'll save it. I actually forgot to grab those flowers. We're gonna do that real quick. Because we should be able to pick them every 10 floors we did. We did 10 floors. So we wanna be able to get them because it's usually things that'll help us out. The big one being the job points. Hopefully we get some flowers that give us job points. Thank you. 
All right, flowers have been planted. Now we can get back to the dungeon. Floor 11. Let's get started. No SP saddle. over here forgot to grab and that was an ice bomb That's a full screen spell. Oh, right. Do not want to deal with those. eventually go back and play this game on the hard mode phoenix is definitely going to be a partner that you just want to keep around at all times it's essentially like two lives a floor that's way too good so we know that's there check out to see if anything else is around shop so I'm a little annoyed that they gave me a shop that soon otherwise I wouldn't have left oh it's just a uh, craft all right it's fair
Phoenix to have that. Alright, don't want to deal with a confused Phoenix right now. So who's the boss? Cactar? Or the giant ghost thing again? Adamant Toys. Alright. I assume we're just gonna well on this guy. Oh, what are these? Confuses enemies. Three tiles. He is not three away from me. He is now. Actually, let's check to see. Okay, oh, yeah, I was actually trying to do something to prevent that. Mana Ward protects him from. Yeah, I was actually going to cast Silence on him, but I guess it doesn't matter. Water Saddle, 77 job points. Awesome. So, not too bad. Just a lot of health. Floor. Try to speed this up a little bit. Oh, this is a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten enemies. The entire floor is just a monster house. Phoenix having silence is probably not good. Just look at all the items on the map. Kira. If I'm not going to use it. Okay. 
Okay, he's down. So is this going to be something that just happens in this dungeon every 16 floors? Or is that just going to be a thing in general every 16 floors? I mean, it's a nice, you know, mix up of things. All right, they're all dead. Oh, there's another enemy here. Did he just spawn in or something? Yeah, they're just spawning in now. Well, I'm definitely going to pick up my treasures. Taking all these items. Collected Giga Bashers. Okay, I'm slightly curious about that. Giga Bashers. Don't know what they do yet. Got things we can sell. Teleport wings. Almost like he get rid of those. I don't need so many of them. Poison talons. A funny collar. These enemies in this game don't turn you to frogs. Rank up. That's for my job, right? What do we get? Oh no, that was for the frog. Well, I'm done. I want off the score now. That was interesting. Thank you. 
So we're gonna go over to it just so I can start selling off items. Hopefully it's a shop. Starts the long process of so trying to kill this guy. Took long enough. Coral saddle. That's new, so I want it. Uh, what potions do we have? Alright, awesome. High potion. We'll take it. Try to keep me here. I don't want to have to wait another well to floor 20 to get there. All right, so we have these explosive drinks 75s. He has what 150 health. Actually, I have no idea how that works. I thought it just took half his health. some hunger. Thirty floor dungeon. Okay. Marlboros are out now. That's 
better than nothing. I think they can have at most like four. I've never run into anything more than four. But this here is a slightly different game, so who knows? screen what ability do we get the Suna and mana ward I mean these aren't bad he's white mage has a lot of skills I would have to figure out which ones I want to shortcut floor 20 boss all right let's figure this out now so we have escape. Mana Ward might not be bad. Silence might not be bad either. Let's just, let's try that. Oh well, let's just go ahead and see what this floor holds for us. So this is floor 20 out of 30, and they're giving us a boss floor. Or does that mean it was a checkpoint? I told you not to restore any more memories, didn't I? She's threatening a bird. <laughs> Think you can challenge me? Fine. Let's see what you can do. I'll protect the seal! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I thought we were actually going to fight. All right, so oh, we got Ultimicia song playing. Awesome. Those should have two health. Oh, they've got more. So they're just doing one damage the entire time. Yeah, the dark element's attacking the light element. So I wonder if that's just something that they do. So I've never really seen enemies attack another enemy before. Nothing. Don't bring back those memories. It's so hard to change direction.
So these are ethers. They might be good to keep around. This is a scary drink. Oh, poison. traps. Didn't know that was a thing. Sounds super nice. Oh, okay, we just spawned immediately into one. Awesome. Oh, silence trap. Beautiful. so hard just having to pass up all these items if I just can't carry enough. Large collar might be a no hunger collar. And if it is, I want it. Just saying. Nice to know this chocobo is still as blind as ever, though. Angel robe 
actually. I didn't even see the stairs. Yeah, this playthrough was going really long too. Let's go ahead and finish this dungeon. We should be over level. I think most people getting here might be in their 20s. We're almost level 40. Yeah. If I spent just a little more time on floors, I could be level 40 by the boss, but... This recording is already at about an hour, 18 minutes. So it's probably just better off to just get it done. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to smack you or anything. How much does Isuna cost? Okay, it's one. Probably should get that from the start. So blind. Anti poison sound. We don't care about it. Ice dragon. I guess I'll take that, that potion actually. Can't say I'm going to need it. Alright, so this is just going to be a thing, apparently. Actually, we might hit that new level sometime soon. Alright, we have a... Um, Antarctic wind, I think. Yes, we do. Let's use that. points yep might as well eat it get it out the way Serpent scale, I want to keep with me simply because it's a um, it's an item that does damage. Yeah, can't think right now. Get that to Phoenix. So 
so much item management. Okay, that's plus two. Should be out of here better. Next floor should be the one that takes us to the boss floor. Drop points, high potion, giga bashers. They seem important. I had so many of those on me. I hope that's a shot. It is a shot. Awesome. Wish I would have had that one floor sooner, though. Okay, they look pretty important. But for now, let's just get rid of things that we're not going to use, like these books. Anything else? Explosive drink and damaging drink. These could be useful for the boss. Uh, we got a lot of cursed things on us. But that's alright, I just need to clear up some space. Pick up oh water apple. Okay, so we got five SP now. I don't think we change our job because we need the job points. So these we've got. A lot of job points. Awesome. We're ready then. Are we ready for the boss? I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, we should be good. If we are about to die, we can escape the Children, dungeon. The one cutting a path to the future. You intend to break my seal, do you? Water is meant to flow. Time is much the same. Stagnant, time can do nothing but sour. Yet men have chosen thusly. that which protects the sealed memories. Water that has been damned holds great power. Time and memories are no different. If you can handle that power, come and get it. Alright, Leviathan. There's a chance Leviathan kills Phoenix in one hit, so I have to be aware of that damaging drink. 255, so he has 510 health. Alright. Explosive drink.
Okay, so you still have his shell on. I'm gonna see if I can hit him with. Uh, silence. Oh, Alright. So. Boss kind of thing to do. Immune stats. It did conditions. Be nice if you could hit him with that, though. I think this is where we do this now. So he has more than a 510 I thought he had. Only an item can do that. Half their HP and it's not even half of it. Phoenix in the fight, so okay. Well, okay, we have no heal. Okay, well, Phoenix is not dead yet. But I did nothing but just lost all my health. So I can't get close to him. I wish I could heal Phoenix. Oh my gosh, he's got back 162 health. And I'm like doing no damage anymore for him. Sucks that he can knock you back to the other side of the stage and still heal himself. Like, I'm not doing any damage to him. I wonder if he can run out of SP.
Like, I don't understand how it's fair that all of his attacks can hit me at range and I have to get close to him. And then he could just knock me back full screen again. And then he can use a turn to heal himself. Like, I'm not sure what to do. I'm pretty sure at this point he's healed off all the damage I've done to him. And he has range on me from just the middle of the stage. And he keeps knocking me back full screen. I can't do anything about it. Keep in mind that I'm over leveled for this fight. I honestly don't know what to do. I mean, I'm beating on him, but I can't. I can't get anything on him. Like I can't put him under silence, which would help with this a lot. Okay, what does? I don't know if everything he's using counts as magic. I'll try Mana Ward, I guess. I might just have to teleport out the dungeon. I mean, I think that's the only thing I can do. Yeah, I think that's all I can do. I, I don't understand what is up with the bosses in this game, but there is no way that's fair. Like, the only wrong thing that I probably did was bring Phoenix in. But, we all know that that probably wouldn't have mattered. Because the bosses just hit hard for some reason. Alright, well. The only other thing to do is just to uh, assess the equipment situation. I don't know what Leviathan is weak to. Probably electric, but... I don't have anything that attacks for that. I need to be able to attack him at range, but that's going to require way too many crystal points that I actually I have five right now. Any partner I bring in could probably use their attack once or twice, and then I'm back trying to 
get close to it. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to beat that boss. Because that just wasn't fair. Because that means Alexander is probably going to be doing the exact same thing. And, um... What other one? There's one other one. Probably like an Earth one. Gaia or something. Alright, sell some things, I suppose. Let's see. It's Curse. Region caller. All right, that's what that is. It increases invasion. Silence caller. A bejeweled caller. Sea serpent scale. Might as well get rid of it. I don't want to carry too much. One of these might be better. I might take the evasion caller with me. I think that's where I want to be with that okay so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and end this recording here because it's already quite long um, a little frustrated how that ended up considering the bosses at least of the temples are way more powerful than they probably should be because um, if I had a problem with that I can't imagine what other people are going through with that I'm gonna look into it see what other people are saying Maybe I missed something, but I am going to go back and level up a little bit. Probably work on some other classes, ones that can bring more damage to the table, but I don't think there's anything wrong with White Mage. I think White Mage is fine. Um, but that's pretty much my plan for that. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't finish this temple right here, but these things are no joke. So... If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be playing through this game in its entirely, doing everything in 100% the game. So if you want to see that, then stick along for the ride. As always, I hope you all have a good day and enjoy yourselves. Peace.